Hey everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at a little article. Yep, it is one that really is quite a yuck. In my opinion it's a yuck one, so let's dive right in. Right, so today we have a beautiful one. Bodily fluids found in Detroit airport soap dispensers. Ain't that just lovely? An investigation is underway at Detroit Metropolitan Airport, and it has nothing to do with the planes in the air, but soap in the bathrooms. Otherwise, this already gives me the fucking heebie-jeebies. Right. Airport officials say they're investigating an unusual substance found in soap dispensers in the North Terminal restrooms last week. Those who work at the airport say it's believed the substance is a bodily fluid from a man. Oh, God. Right, okay, so I am presuming... I am presuming <laughs> that uh, there's only one kind of uh, bodily fluid that a man produces that a woman doesn't. <laughs> okay, so let's get back on. Um, Traveller Matthew Demers of Clinton Township never expected this. I doubt anybody expected this, to be honest. So I just used the men's bathroom and I, j I just washed my hands and coming to find this out, it's a little disgusting, he said. Well, I'll fucking say it's disgusting. Jesus fucking Christ, that's sickening. Oh, that's hellish. Right, so, ugh, that is just one of the sickest fucking things ever. Anyway, in a statement, the airport authority says it takes health and safety very seriously at the airport. The question now is who would do such a thing? Well, my best guess, guess would be a guy, for one, and two, probably a disgruntled employee, I would probably think. I don't even know how someone would find the time to do that, said Jamelia McClendon. You can see it's kind of busy around here right now. McClendon, who cleans the bathrooms at the Detroit Metro, says workers do not believe a passenger is responsible. It would have to be a person who had access to the soap dispensers. Right, okay, so I take it as one of those combined in unit things then. Well, we'll find out in a second. The way the soap dispensers under the sink, passenger would know how to get up under and untwist them. It really is disgusting. Well, so that's definitely, it would have to be a disgruntled employee then. Because um, if it's the ones I think it is, I've never attempted to open them myself, but I do know you have to have a special key to do it and stuff like that, so... That's really fucking disgusting. That can't, the person who's done that could be carrying anything. Any kind of disease at all. That's just fucking sick. Oh, got a fairly strong stomach, but even that doesn't... Uh, okay, a lot of crazy things happen at the airport. The airport authority is in the process of installing new tamper-proof soap dispensers and are more frequently monitoring the restrooms. McClendon says the cleaning staff had to take extra measures to make sure the liquid soap is in fact soap. We wash our hands in the break room before we come upstairs, she said, because there's no telling what's in there. We have to check them before we even get on the floor each shift. I don't know what this go through someone's mind never about doing that, it says Demers. It's extremely dis 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 it's extremely disgusting. You're fucking right and it's extremely disgusting. Jesus fucking Christ. That is just horrendous. So let me know what you think of that one then, eh? I personally think that is fucking disgusting. The guy could have anything, as I said previously. Could have any kind of disease whatsoever. And, uh, right, any guy who is a guy knows what that feels like. And most of them, if they've been with a guy for long enough, will know what that feels like too. So, uh, yuck. Let me know what you all think in the comments. Um, I personally am disgusted, but... I think it was definitely a disgruntled employee. Let me know what you think. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thanks very much for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe. My subscribers, I love you guys. And that's it. My name's Alexander. Catch you in the next one.